Blair Williams Biography. Name. Blair Williams. Date of birth. March 28, 1994. Hometown. Southern California, U.S. Measurements. 36D, 2938. Height. 1.75 meters. Hair color. Blonde. Eye color. Blue-green. Years active. 2015 present. Blair Williams is a beautiful blonde adult film star and model who has been performing in adult since 2015. Winner of Zamster's original web series The Adult Factor, 2016, Blair has since been named as Twisty's Treat of the Month for March 2017, and she continues to receive a wealth of hottest newcomer, fan award, best three-way adult scene, girl girl boy, and best scene feature release nominations at the AVN and XBIZ awards. So where did it all begin? Hailing from Southern California, Blair attended a private Christian school and a Catholic high school. Blair is an intelligent individual who attained a 2000 on her SATs and studied communications at college. Talking about these early years in her March 2015 adult talk interview, Blair explained how, I've always lived in California. Generally, I grew up in the law area. I grew up in the suburbs with my mom. My dad lived in Carlsbad and since they were divorced, I always went back and forth in Southern California. When I started school, I was at a private Christian school and when I was young, I had this love of God. It was never pushed on me, but I just loved going to church. I was consistently going to church without my parents. I was always very religious. I had planned on actually waiting until marriage. I didn't kiss a guy until I was 14, and I didn't lose my V until 4 months before I turned 19. So I'm very new to this world and I love it I went from a Christian private school to a Catholic all-girls school in high school. I didn't even give in until I graduated from high school. So everything was really repressed. I was very academically orientated and got a 2000 on my SAT. But when I started college at a co-ed school and all my hormones were running, I just really wanted to have adult once I started taking control of my ID, I liked it, I felt in control. Before she pursued a career in the adult industry, Blair worked as a live-in nanny and as a church preschool teacher. As Blair herself mentioned during her March 2015 adult talk interview, I have been a nursery school teacher for three years. I work with children during church from the ages of 1 to 6. We read the Bible, we watch videos, we play games it's just a different side of me. I would say I have a well-rounded personality. I'm very sweet and loving, but then I can also be a freak when I want to be. I'm studying communications. The adult thing wasn't really planned, it kind of happened by chance. Beforehand, I was planning on going into real estate with my degree in communications. I have connections with real estate internships. Nothing has come out so I could technically go into real estate very soon, but, at this point, I want to see where my adult career goes, and then I'm not quite sure what I will do for a career path. As mentioned above, Blair had a very religious upbringing, and she discussed her faith within her May 2017 dazed interview, highlighting how, I still believe in God. Religion doesn't condemn you, the people who follow it obsessively do. If I went back to my church, I feel like I couldn't tell people what I do without being taken into a back room for a ing exorcism. I have a problem with people who like to speak on behalf of God. They place their fear of ID onto me. People use religion as a weapon because they're uncomfortable with themselves I still feel like the same girl who worked in the church, I still have the same ideas and values, I just happen to people on camera for money. So just how did Blair first start working in the adult film industry? Well, it all began when Blair entered and won the Zamster original web series The Adult Factor. This reality TV-themed web series was hosted by Asa Akira and featured Lexi Bell, Tori Black, Remy LaCroix, and Karen Lee as mentors and judges. Aired between May 20 and July 22, 2016, The Adult Factor featured 16 contestants with no previous professional experience as they competed for a three-year filming contract and a cash prize of $1 million. Blair Williams' adult film career. After winning the adult factor Blair began to star in a wide range of popular adult productions, including Cuties 9, 2016, for Elegant Angel, that was nominated for Best Ingenue Movie at the 2017 AVN Awards, Manuel Zing Pa 5, 2016, which was nominated for Best Gonzo Movie at the 2017 AVN Awards, and Mick Blue's Best Day Ever 2, 2016, for Evil Angel Bam Visions, that was nominated for Best Orgy Gangbang Movie at the 2018 AVN Awards, and which also earned Blair a notable Best Group Adult Scene nomination for her amazing group adult scene with Anika Albright, Lily Jordan and Mick Blue. 
Many of Blair's sauciest adult scenes have been those which she has filmed with award-winning director Greg Lansky for his Tushy and Vixen production companies. Most notably, Blair's saucy scene with Christian Clay has been showcased in the Tushy Beauty 7, 2017, which was nominated for Best Adult Scene at the 2018 AVN Awards, and her steamy scenes with Manuel Ferrara have been featured in the Vixen Young and Beautiful 4, 2017, also starring Lana Rhodes, Carly Gray and Natalia Starr. Without a doubt, one of Blair's most popular adult productions to date has been The Preacher's Daughter, 2016, for Wicked Pictures, within which she shared a sultry scene with Mia Malkova. Directed by Brad Armstrong and starring Mercedes Carrera, Jessa Rhodes and Alexis Frox, The Preacher's Daughter was a critical and commercial success that won Best Drama at the 2017 AVN Awards, as well as taking home Best Music, Screenplay of the Year and Feature Movie of the Year at the 2017 XBIZ Awards. Blair even personally received a Best Scene Feature Release nomination at the 2017 XBIZ Awards for her captivating collaboration with Mia Malkova. What's more, The Preacher's Daughter received ardent endorsements from prominent adult critics, such as critic column writer CYBER5, who advocated in his October 2016 film review How, Buy This Now. Look, it doesn't matter to me either way, I'm an independent reviewer with no ties to anybody involved in this industry, and I'm telling you right now. If you like plot-based adult, you aren't going to find much better than this year. This is a phenomenal disc, and I haven't even popped in the extras disc yet. If this flick doesn't get nominations from every organization in every category, I don't know what can. Best Actor, check. Actress, check. Supporting Roles, check. Cinematography, check. You get the idea. The adult is hot, the story is good, and the execution is great. From the time they roll video until the scene fades, everything is top-notch the casting is great, as are the locations and the film work. The performers bring their A-games. This might be the best couples feature this year, and I have no qualms making it in's critic pick. The bonus disc is just that. It's packed full of stuff that isn't your standard BTS stuff with just lame interviews and questions you've heard these people answer a bunch of times. The girls are hot chemistry is off the charts. Just watch this flick.